I'm Patrick from Mauer, and yesterday we went down to the Coombe again to try to record some of the shallow wrecks there in Mosman Bay. Last weekend we were able to get a really good 3D model for wreck number two, but we weren't able to record one for wreck number one. So this time Kevin and Dave went over to see if they could get a model of wreck number one, while me and Nick went over to wreck number three, which is a small dinghy not far from wreck number two, the one we recorded last week. It was quite a nice dive, the viz was a little bit down on last week, but it was still very clear, still good recording conditions. There was a bit of current going over the site, which caused us a bit of grief with silt. But as soon as that settled, we could see everything we could record very well. So, results. Kevin and Dave were able to get this really nice model. It's very complete, it's very detailed, and they were also able to get all of the measurements that we want, which means we can scale and orientate it very clearly. Nick and I didn't have as much luck. The only thing I was able to salvage is this quite noisy model from a backup video that I took. But we were able to record all of the measurements, all of the depths, so we have those for next time when we go back. Why did we have this problem? We think that the problem is because wreck number one and number three are sitting at 12 meters, and wreck number two is only sitting at nine, which means there's three meters of water blocking all of the light, and it makes the camera's job a lot harder. For the next recording run, we're only going to use video because that doesn't have the same motion blur problem that recording still images has. We're fairly confident this will enable us to record wreck number three, which means then we'll have the whole of the Coombe Shello wrecks recorded. That's it. Go check out our Facebook page. Um, go check out our new Sketchfab account, which you can see the 3D models and you can move them around and explore them. Until then, thanks for watching.